السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله ونستحمل ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوقل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور ينفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا حاضر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله ورسوله إن خير الهدي كتاب الله وخير الهدي وحدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدع وكل بدع دلالة وكل دلالة في النار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So we are continuing with our uh, uh, course and we are at Surat Al-Bakra. We have almost alhamdulillah, finished uh, the 99 ayat and inshallah we'll be starting from the 100th ayat today inshallah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Rabbi shirah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafru qawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So we are at page number 14, point number D, and today, inshallah, we'll be doing verses 100 and 101. This is how the scheme is going. First 10 pages of right hand and left hand, then the next five, and now we are on the next five. Of that, we are on the second last page, that is the 14th page. Uh, these are the pointers of the 11th, 12th, and 13th uh, pages. Uh, ignorant masses, fire won't touch us, the rule of justice, Covenant of Bani Israel, and then the covenant of blood, the killing and expulsion, believing in parts, treatment of Musa and Isa alayhi salam. This was uh, a sentence is made out of it so that we can remember it easily. Ignorant believe that fire won't touch us, forgetting the rule of the covenant. And the second, uh, uh, 12th page was, you took the covenant and still kill, did the killing. Do you believe in a part uh, even after Musa and Isa alayhi salam came? This is a short sentence which is made out of the pointers for easy remembrance. The 13th page had rejecting the book, the evil transaction of Kufr. We believe in our books and the covenant about the two. A short way of remembering will be rejecting the book is an evil transaction. Even though they claim we believe and took the covenant. So this is a 14th page that we are on and we saw the uh, beginning is hereafter for only you because they said that uh, the the, the akhirah is only for them and exclusively for them and no and for nobody else. But Allah Ta'ala informed us that they love this life so much and even if they were given a thousand years, it is not help. Then last time on, we saw the enmity with Jibreel alayhi salam and the enmity was only on the basis that Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they did not come to any of their people. They did not like the fact that it came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And today, inshallah, we'll be uh, doing the last part, which is throw away the pledges. And we'll see what lessons we have in that. So the pointers of this page are hereafter only for you. They love this life, enmity with Jibreel, and they threw away the pledges. Concise would be hereafter, this life, enmity, and pledges. So uh, to make a sentence, it would be you claim that the hereafter is for you only and still prefer this life, have enmity with Jibreel and Islam, and threw the pages or threw the pledges away. So, we'll, inshallah. so in continuation, as we see, uh, this is the argument going on uh, and Allah Ta'ala is presenting them the evidences of the fact that Prophet Sallallahu has come as a true messenger uh, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala himself. The fact that Jews did not like it, they did not want to accept him. They realized the truth of the uh, of the message. They realized the, realized the truth of the Prophet Sallallahu Even then, just out of arrogance, they did not wants to accept the truth. So, uh, inshallah, we'll, we'll see the small lessons that we are going to learn out of this. A party of the Jews rejected the Prophet ﷺ because they were not sincere. We have to fulfill our covenants with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should worship him, obey him, believe in his messengers and follow them. And I send the books for us, for us the Quran, for reciting it, for understanding it and for implementation of it not just to keep in the shelves after reading it. Right? So how easy is the Quran? In this, we have just two new words. They are also not very complex. And uh, uh, that is uh, that is all. The last has just one. That is Zuhur. That is also not very complex. So we are doing it with word to word and phrase for phrase for making it easy. 
So inshallah with that we begin and this is the 100th ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أو كلما عاهدوا أحدا نبذه فريق نبذه فريق منهم بل أكثرهم لا يؤمنون. Oh, is a question. Is what is and is and كلما is whenever. So when all of these are coming together, a wa kullama, and is it not that whenever? Right. So, if you take it in, in, in Urdu, our kya fir and kullama jabhi. Kya fir jabhi, and then the, the matter will come. So, this is like a question that is being asked. So, why is it that when whenever? So, if you if you put it in direct plain English, it be why is it that whenever ahadu ahadan ahada is to take a covenant, uh, and ahad is the covenant. So, ahadu uh, is which form? Ahadu is which form? Anybody? Which form is this? Ahada, Ahadu. Mazi. Bab Samia. No, not Samia. There's an Alif. Faala. No, not Faala. Ahadu. First of all, this is a verb, right? Because there's a wow and alif, right? So, which form does it belong to? This is mazi plural. Mazi plural pa hai. Mazi plural. Ah, mazi plural. So, ठीक है, but कौन सा form है? Mazid fi में कौन सा है? Alif, right? Afala. Afala, no. There's not. It's not ahada. Hasaba, hasabu, ahada, ahadu. Right. So what we have studied with this this hasaba form is that you are doing something with somebody else. So there are two people involved, right? So when it a covenant is being taken, it is being taken between two people. Right, so that this ahada they are taking a covenant with Allah. Okay, so this is the second form. Ahada with alif is indicating the second form, a third uh, third form rather. Second is faala. This is faala, faala, faalu, ahadu. Okay, right. So we just keep our eyes open and try to recognize the forms which we have already studied. So our kullama ahadu ahadan. Ahadan is the noun and it is singular. So it indicates that whenever they took any covenant, you heard it is it is an a covenant. So whenever they took a covenant, which means it indicates that any covenant, because whenever they took it, they would want to break it. Our kullama ahadu ahadan nabadahu nabadam is to throw away. Nabadahu they throw it away. They what did they throw the the covenant? Fariqum minhum fariq a party a group. Min whom from them. So as we know that the dialogue is going uh, between the Jews and the, the the dawa is being given to the Jews about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what they are doing is they are throwing their covenant away. Bal aktharuhum bal but ne aktharuhum most of them la yuminu they do not believe. Again we have to uh, understand that they were already believers in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala only. They believed in the other prophets also, but Allah Taala is then telling them, "Bal aktharuhum la yuminun." Most of them do not believe, and the reason for their belief was, or, or disbelief rather, was that they did not acknowledge the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. So even if we uh, acknowledge Allah and if we do not recognize the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then again 
we do not fall in the category of believers. This ayat is telling us that, right? So our kullama and is it not that whenever ahadu ahadan they took a covenant, nabadahu they threw it away, fariqum minhum a party of them. Then Allah Taala is informing them us that because of their breaking the covenant, bal aktharuhum la yuminun. Most of them do not believe. Okay, so the, a part of the belief is also believing in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that would confirm if we are uh, following the Quran and the Sunnah. Inshallah. So, uh, who would want to take it? Who has not done last time? I think Akhtar Sab was not there, so uh, we'll ask him to do. Akhtar, we are going to do it. Aslan, Aslan. Aslan. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أو كلما أو كلما أحد أحد نبذه فريق منهم بل أكثرهم لا يؤمنون أو كلما أن أن is it not whenever ahadu ahada they they took a covenant nabadahu threw it away fariq fariq um minhum a party of them bal aktharuhum nay most of them la yu'minu do not believe Okay, Alhamdulillah. Exactly. So I think very straightforward. Oh, this ayat only has two new words. Nabaza is the, the new word that is throwing away. Ahada ahada is something which you already know. So this is just one new word I would say. Fariq is also something that you already know. So ahadu is that they took a covenant. Ahadan, any covenant. Right? So any is because of this singular. Ahadan. Okay, so nabadahu farikum minhum, bal aksurhum la yu'minu. So they were supposed to follow the Torah which was given to them. However, if someone does not have iman, you cannot expect them to fulfill the covenants. So we have to analyze ourselves. What are we doing? Are we fulfilling our covenants? So one of their arguments was that we have not taken any covenant. That was one of the arguments of the Jews when uh, uh, the, this was presented to them. They said we have not taken any covenant at all. So like we also ask ourselves, have we taken any covenant or no? Right. So whenever we, we have said the kalima, we have taken a covenant and we have to follow that. And that is a part of the belief. Okay. <clears throat> so then we go ahead. and when jaa hum jaa came hum to them Rasul, a messenger, this is talking about the Prophet Min Indillah from Allah, Musaddiqun Lima Ma'ahum, Musaddiqan, Saddaqa Yusaddiqu, confirming Musaddiqun is the active participle, Musaddiqun Lima, with what? Ma'ahum, with was, was with them. Then what did he do? Nabadha, threw away, Fariqum, a party, Minhum, from those who had been given the kitab. So what did they, they do? Kitab Allahi, Allah's book, Wara'a zuhurihim, behind their backs. As if they did not know. Right? So what they did was, when uh, the, this argument was uh, put forward that uh, this is exactly confirming whatever was there in the uh, Quran, uh, Quran whatever there in the Quran is the same message that is there in the Torah and they were asked to get this Torah and compare so of course all those things uh, started matching what is there in the Torah was exactly what is there in the Quran 
Then they did not want to, to take the Quran. Then they started to take other books. Uh, they started taking the books of the Asaf and they started taking the books of uh, Harut and Marut, which was there with them. And that was not, which was confirming with the Quran because that was not Quran at all. And that's why the next ayat uh, uh, is, is linked to this. When we are just reading it without knowing the backgrounds, you don't know why suddenly the ayat of magic has come. But that was the reason because they started then comparing the Quran to the books of Asaf and the books of Harut and Marut, which they had with them as a part of what Shaitan had given them from the throne of Sulaiman alayhi salam. Right? So uh, when the truth came to them, Whenever uh, a messenger came to them, uh, confirming the truth that they had with them, so some a party of them threw away the book, which means that the Nagar didn't want to take the Torah at all because they didn't want to follow that. The whole point is that the arrogance that they had of not following the Prophet, they were ready to discard uh, their book in the sense that not to see their book for comparison. Then they wanted something else just to falsify the Quran or to, to say that the Quran is not the truth. Kitab Allahi wara azuhurihim that the book is, uh, they put their books behind and then they took something else, which means they didn't want to refer to the Torah anymore. Then in the end, Allah is saying, ka'annahum la ya'lamun, ka'annahum, as if they, la ya'lamun, as if they do not know. So here Allah is telling us that they started behaving as if they did not know that this is the truth. The whole fact that they were fighting, uh, that they were hiding the truth. Zuhur is to put the things behind, that means that now they will not be able to see it. It was because they knew the truth about it, but they did not want to accept it. Right. So here again, it indicates a lack of iman, and in spite of knowing, in spite of knowing that something is is uh, incorrect or not not correct, if somebody wants to follow it, then he would uh, not want to follow the religion. So if if some ahkam is there in the Quran or in the Sunnah, and somebody doesn't want to follow it, what he's essentially doing is kitab Allahi wara azhurihim. So it is, this is how this ayat would impact us. We have to see in our lives whether we are doing the same or uh, by putting Allah's book behind our backs, right? It is not that uh, just this recitation. When we don't want to follow something, we are putting the book behind our backs. Okay. So we will do it now. Guys, sir, you have not done it for a long time. ऐसा <laughs> نبذ فريق من الذين اوتوا الكتاب كتاب الله وراء ظهورهم كانهم لا يعلمون and when came to them a messenger from Allah confirming what was with them threw away a party of those who were given the book Allah's book behind their backs as if they do not know. So this is the, the, the situation when uh, the truth was being, being presented to them. <clears throat> when they did not want to follow it, they kept the books of Allah behind their backs. Right? So we should try and see that we don't inshallah do that. So وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقْ كُلِّ مَا مَرْهُمْ Nabaz of Farikum, they threw away a party, Minal Ladina Utul Kitab, a book, a party of those who were given the book, Kitab Allahi Wara Al Zuhurim, they put the Allah's book behind their backs, Ta'annahum La Ya Namun, as if they do not know. So the arrival of the Prophet was mentioned in the Torah, but as usual, they threw the book aside and rejected the Prophet. The whole point of this argument is rejection of the Prophet, and the arguments are being presented against that. So we have to analyze ourselves in the uh, background of the side, where are we falling? So the reason for the rejection was not because the Quran was not clear to them or, or the message was not clear to them or that it was not confirming with the Torah. It was an arrogance of not following the Prophet. That's what they were. 
Hadharmi bolte hain aake nahi karna hai. Something like that. In spite of knowing that this is the truth. So Allah tells us not to be misled. Just look at their history for different messengers. They did the same thing. The Quran is sent down to an unlettered prophet. The Prophet ﷺ was an ummi, but in spite of that, he was giving a very clear uh, message, which was matching the message that was there in the Torah. So yet it is clear to understand it and live by it. <clears throat> its messages are a clear proof of its truthfulness. Even today, the scientific and the historical facts prove that the Quran has so many clear signs of its truthfulness. And we have seen that Allah Ta'ala is telling that whenever we are reading the Quran, the verses of Quran, Allah Ta'ala is saying that each verse is a ayah. Ayah is a sign. Right? So each ayat of the Quran is a sign. <clears throat> so that uh, we come to the hadith of the day. <clears throat> Anis bin Malik radiallahu anhu reported that whenever the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave khutbah, he said that there is no iman in a person who does not fulfill his trusts. So fulfilling trusts, amanat, is also a part of the iman. So if somebody is doing khayana in the iman, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the trust, in the amana, then it is uh, that the person does not have any iman. And there is no deen in a person who does not fill covenants. So there is no iman in a person who does not fulfill trusts. And there is no deen in a person who does not fill, fulfill his covenant. So if you're making a promise, then you have to uh, fulfill it. And this is uh, there in a lo lot of ayat and different places that the, uh, the uh, sifat of the believers is that they fulfill their covenants whenever they uh, make a covenant. Right? We have to know our most important covenant that we have taken is that we have uh, pronounced the kalima. That is the biggest covenant that we have taken. And also the fact that when we said sami'na wa apa'na, that we have listened and now we are going to obey is the other covenant that we have taken. And the most important covenant that we have taken is when all the uh, spirits of the roof was there and Allah Ta'ala has confirmed alas to be rabbikum and we have confirmed at that time also. So these two add together if we take it. Is it not that whenever they make a covenant, a party of them threw it away? Nay, most of them do not believe. And when a messenger of Allah came to them, confirming that which was with them, a party of them were given the book, uh, uh, who were given the book, threw away the book of Allah behind their backs, as if they did not know. So this we already saw. A party of the Jews rejected the Prophet ﷺ because they were not sincere. And to this day, they are doing the same thing. Uh, we have to fulfill our covenants with Allah. That is, worship him, obey him, believe in his messengers and follow them. Allah send the books for reciting, understanding and implementation. <clears throat> so I had one of my uh, Christian patients who was uh, actually a believer in Allah and uh, does not uh, uh, worship uh, Isa alayhi salam and Maryam alayhi salam. So I was very happy with that fact before. And I kept talking to him. One day I realized how much hatred he had for the Prophet ﷺ. That took me down. This is exactly what is being <clears throat> said about the Jews who were there in the Medina, that they would confirm the other prophets, but when it came to the Prophet ﷺ, they did not want to accept this. <clears throat> so, we have to make dua. This is the study uh, and pondering that we do. Propagate, ask, plan and evaluate. Uh, help us fulfill our promises and covenants. And <clears throat> inshallah, I will try my best to fulfill my promises. So we have to see what whatever promises we have done to anybody. We try to see that we fulfill them. And as I said, the most important promise and the covenant that we have made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Right? So with that, we come to the asma and af'al uh, of today's ayat. So singular plural, if we see the first, ahadun, we, uh, the word comes ahadan, and the plural of that is uhud. Uhud is the plural, covenants. Pariqun is a party, and the plural of that is fura o fura o fariq furqa. Kitab, book, kutub is the plural. Zahrun is back, and the plural of that is zuhur. Zuhur is the word that is used in the ayat today. <coughs> so, ahida is what was there, sami on the, on the version of sami, huh? but the word here used was ahadu. So, it is actually in the uh, Mazidhi form, right? But they have put it here as uh, Ahida. As if you see, the third person has, is Ahida, Sami'a. But here the word uses Ahadu. So it's Hasabu. Okay? So that is why it is the second form. 
So to try to uh, understand the forms and why the second form is used is because they had mutually made a covenant with Allah. So Allah is on one side and they are on the other side. So when we are doing hasaba, our account is on one side and we are on the other side, right? So there is uh, whenever this form is used, fa'ala form, it is between two people that the act is being done. <clears throat> So this is actually the mazid fee, not uh, the, uh, the this part they have taken ahadun uh, from uh, which they have come with ahida ya hadu ahad ahid mahud and ahdun right nabada is to flow or throw so daraba yadribu nabada yam bizu right imbiz nabiz mambuz and nabzun. So here we'll have a small meme of Idram because there's a bar following a noon sakin. So it will be yam bizu. Inbaz. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have alima, which we have seen many times on the version of Samia. Alima ya alamu ilam, alim ma'lum and il. Then we have ja'a, which has also come so many times. Zada. Ja'a yaji'u. And ji is the order. Jain is the person who is coming. Maji'ah, the process of coming. Right? So this is where our word was ahada on the version of hasaba. Right? So first they have taken ahadan. That's why they have taken ahida. Right? So now you see two words are next to each other. But one is mazid fi and other is the noun form of the basic word. Right? So uh, the noun form of this is going to be uh, like hasaba muhasaba muahada right muahada and this is ahadun ahadan of the trilateral root right so this is the third person plural verb used for hasaba form of ahida right so ahada you ahidu ahid muahidun muahadun muahada then amana we have done a lot of times yu'minu amana yu'minu amin mu'min mu'man and iman saddaka is allama second pattern saddaka yusaddiqu saddiq musaddiqun musaddiqun and tasdiq <coughs> uh, here the word utu is in the passive form utu ata yu'ti atin mu'tin mu'ta and ita Right? So here the word used is Utu. I'll just highlight that. The word here is, is Utu. This is the passive form. Utu. The active form is Ata. Yukti. Ata, Yukti, Atin. Muttin, Mutta and Ita. So Utu is the passive form. Minalazina Utul Kitab, those who were given the book. Right? What they did, Kitab Allahi, they put Allah's book behind their backs. May Allah save us from doing such a thing. <clears throat> okay. So this Alhamdulillah completes the Quran part for uh way. We took two ayat. And inshallah, the next ayat is also linked to uh, the, uh, the these ayat as uh, instead of taking the, the Torah, what they did, they put the Torah behind their backs and then they got the uh, books of the magic, books of Asaf, books of Harut and Marut. And that's how the next ayat will be of uh, Harut and Marut and the magic and what they followed. And that's how Allah Ta'ala uh, was refuting them because they were using these books and they're trying to match that with the Quran. And we know that magic is not a part of uh, the, the, the deen. It is in fact forbidden and it is haram to uh, do magic. And anybody who is doing magic also should be punished according to the Sharia. Right. So any questions in the Quranic part? Meaning of wara. Wara, wara, wara is behind. Wara is behind. Putting something behind. So Zuhur is back. So they were putting wara of Zuhurihim. They are putting it behind their backs. So, wara is back. Like Imam is front, wara is behind. Any other questions? That is this Zuhuri, wara, because wara is a 
Okay. Okay. means behind. So it's a preposition. That's why we have who reading. Word which gives uh, perfect jar to the next. Yes, correct. So it's a perfect jar, and that's why we have vara a zuhur him. That's why there's a kasra in the zuhur. It could have been zuhur ruhum also, but because of this vara a, we have got a zuhur rihim. Here in the side, there are two farik. What those people are? Farikun, farikun, nabaza farikun. Twice is no. I didn't uh, get your question. You know, your voice is getting less. <clears throat> farikun, farikun. Yeah, farikun, farikun is a party, and because there's a mean mushaddad after that, we say farikum. And whenever there's a mean mushaddad, uh, we should be doing a gunna on that. Farikum min al ladina, like we had lama ka an. All that mean mushaddad will have a gunna. So Farik is a party. It's a singular, and we saw the plural of that is for a Farik for a is a plural. So Farik it indicates that a group of them, of the Jews who are the ones who are rejecting, and they they were the learned people. They were the the uh, uh, rabbis of the Jews who were rejecting it. Right? Is that clear or uh, any other doubt? Yes, clear. Okay. They are the they are the part of the Jews Jews only. Yes, yes. A, a, a party within the Jews itself. So the party means there were some who would have recognized. There were some who actually uh, believed. Like uh, uh, Abdullah bin Salam, he he was a rabbi and he accepted. We saw this uh, story of his last uh, last week and how he uh, when he uh, became the uh, became Muslim, he told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that uh, the, his people will start hating him. If if they come to know that he is uh, believed, so uh, he told them uh, he told the prophet not to tell them about uh, about it, and uh, he was in the same room on the one side, and then uh, when the Jews came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the Jews, "What do you think about Abdullah bin Salam?" And then they started praising him. He's the best man, and he's the most learned of us, and he knows so much of Torah. And they started uh, telling all good things about him. And then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that now, if I tell you that he's he's accepted Islam. Then they started abusing him and then uh, you know, uh, telling all bad things about him. So this is how uh, uh, they were, and it is the same thing. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also he was amin and he was uh, uh, he was uh, everybody used to keep their uh, their, their belongings and trusts with him. Uh, but when he, uh, in spite of he uh, being so much favored and known as as Al Amin, when he came with the truth of the message, uh, he had to. Uh, uh, undergo so much problems, and he had to in fact leave Makkah because of his uh, doing dawa and telling the truth to the people. Right. So if this is done, then inshallah we will uh, uh, stop here and, and join in again for the grammar uh, part inshallah. Okay. Assalam. So I'll end the session and you are all joined back again.